What's up everyone, I'm Ishan Grows and this is week 9 for the Orange Cream Pop. These ladies are looking extra good. So they've just had a week to recover from a top dress. They're getting the much needed nutrients. Now I just noticed that I have a root growing out of the soil. And I've got one right over there too, so that's actually pretty cool. I could add more soil to this because it's already compacted itself pretty good. And definitely going to need to water soon. Actually, very soon. Yeah. Probably tomorrow. All in all, these girls are looking extremely healthy. They look a lot better. Now, remember from last week, I was asking about these twisted leaves right here. And some of y'all some of y'all said it could possibly be cow mag. And then the good majority of y'all said light stress and or wind burn or wind stress so I did have the fan pointed right here at the canopy so that right there would be given too much air so I've moved now I've moved it to where it's just barely blowing above the canopy just enough to shake the branches up so I figured that would be the next resort and if it still doesn't fix itself then I'm going to say it's genetic this one is doing it just not as bad this is the one on the right, it's the one on the left, that's the one that's doing it the worst. All in all, healthy growth, healthy plants. Week 9 from seed. And I'm going to have to go through and remove some of these lower leaves here soon. But this episode, we're not going to be doing that. I'm going to be laying these girls out a little bit flatter. Getting these girls open as wide as I can because, like I said, I'm going to veg until I'm happy. So, this is week nine, three week seedling, six week veg. So, I would technically be in week six of veg right now. So, one thing I did do is I did alter how I watered these girls. So, instead of giving them just a little bit here, a little bit there. I have been actually fully sat fully saturated in the pots in the grow medium and collect of course any runoff which there shouldn't be I give them uh, three liters each and that's just enough to keep just maybe a few drops of runoff in the tray but for the most part I just water them once a week and right now since they've gotten a little bit bigger it's about every six every five to six days that I have to water now and I just let them go and grow so I'm going to go ahead and get you on the tripod and get these started laying these girls, well start getting these girls laid out and I'll see y'all when I'm done. Enjoy.
Now that these girls are looking a lot better since they've been LST'd, I actually had to super crop two branches, one here and one there, and one of the main stems, main branches, sorry. I also had to super crop right here. The rest of them I'll just use the binder clips and the green tie wire. So that stuff is a miracle worker. And the only thing I have left to do is to go under here and clean up these canopies. What well, is it? Canopies. Well, yeah, canopy and the lower skirt, lower third. There's a couple fan leaves that are just hanging too low. Even then, some people like to leave them on because a lot of people like to try and catch the rays from the side of the walls. That's what I have these leaves right here at the top to do. I removed those two leaves and it already opened that up. Plus, to me, doing this is good practice just to help prevent powdery mildew. Because uh, I have a bit of a problem in the 5x5, five five, the Barney's Farm versus Exotic Genetics. And a small problem in there, which I will see in, about in September. Because that's when I will be releasing that video. Because it hasn't been filmed yet. The month of September. That's actually nice for you know, to get back to doing a monthly video. That way I can still focus on getting the weekly grows done. But still open up my schedule a little bit. So that looks a lot better right there. So that's less chance of getting some powdery mildew. Or bud rot if there were buds. Yeah, that's all that I got to do this week. Week 9 is a pretty uh, relaxed week, but week 10 through 12 is really going to be a very relaxed week because all it's going to be is just letting these girls continue to grow up as I pull the uh, branches back down on the tie wire. So we'll see how everything goes. Hopefully I don't have any powdery mildew issues with these girls popping up. But I've learned a very good lesson from one of y'all by the name of Greg Dune. He saw the video of my new puppy. And he said to watch out because your pet can also bring pest and mold, disease, mildew. So I'm just checking them out. I don't see anything on these two, so that's a good sign. Well... Since these two are done, LST'd, I'm not going to water until tomorrow, but y'all don't need to see that because it's going to be plain uh, water. And of course, the pH of my tap water is 7.2, so I'll let the girls sort that out. I do pH my water from time to time just to keep it in check, but other than that, I don't. I have stopped pHing for the most part. Like I said, maybe every three waterings I'll pH just to keep the soil in check since it's not outdoors. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and kill this one here. I just want to say thank you for everyone who supports this channel, watches these videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments, how do you water your girls? Do you saturate the pots like I do, then water every five to six days, or pretty much once a week? Or do you give a liter here and a liter there, or maybe two liters here and a liter there? I don't know. Let me know, that. Let me know down in the comments. All right, guys, as always... Just want to say thank you for watching and happy growing.